What's up guys, my name is Oh My God Your Head's Gone, and today I'm bringing you guys a game of Domination on the Map Aftermath, and this is a 100 plus gameplay, and I'm doing a quick dual commentary, so introduce yourself. What the heck? I swear I sniped the guy so many times. No, I'm just kidding with you guys. That kid was on my team, and my headset actually broke today, so I was just playing with TV volume. So I really didn't mind having, you know, somebody talking and yelling in the mic because I couldn't really hear them too much. I didn't have a headset on, so it wasn't overbearing. And I thought it was hilarious from the moment he screamed like that the whole game. He was yelling. You could hear his mom in the background saying things like, what the heck is wrong with you, dude? What are you doing? And he's like... Mom, you don't know the sniper kill streak I'm on right now, and he, and he was like barely going positive. He was like negative in the first half. So, anyways, I thought that was really funny. So I figured I'd throw that in uh, into the commentary. But anyway, so speaking about the gameplay, this is actually my first 100 plus on Black Ops 2, and I'm really excited about it. I mean, uh, I didn't expect to get it today because my headset broke, like I said. So I've been playing with no headset. But I think that it actually might have helped me out a bit not having a headset. I wasn't really relying too much on just sound whoring. And it kind of made me pay a little bit more attention to the actual game going on in front of me. Rather than kind of trying to half pay attention, half listening. And, you know, paying attention to what I'm hearing rather than what I'm seeing. Which has definitely gotten me killed in the past. So, that first round, I only got 14 kills. And I go absolutely hammer in this second half. I get a, a nuclear killer medal, I think I actually go on like a 37 gun streak, and I won't give away the end of the match, but I had a 101 kill streak with about 15 seconds left, and tragedy strikes, that's all I know how to, that's the only way I know how to put it, but it was unfortunate, I, I was like, okay, this is a flawless game, and then... It wasn't flawless. I'm going to put the score in the title, so I'm not giving it away, but I actually do go on a 101 kill streak, and it's only at the very, very last seconds of the game that I die and ruin my flawless game, but that's all right. There's always time to get another flawless game. It's not a big deal. I'm still pretty stoked about the match, so I guess I'll tell you guys what class I'm using. In the first half, I put on an A94 with my typical domination setup, which is just a hardline ghost, toughness, dexterity, and then I realized uh, if I'm going to try to go for 100 pluses, I'm going to need scavenger, so I put on my vector class, but I didn't die in the first half, so it never switched, and only in the second half did I start using my vector class, which uh, I think has the perks hardline and ghost as well. And then for second tier, I'm using Toughness and Scavenger. So that definitely helps a lot having the Scavenger. I was able to get uh, replenished ammo throughout the match. And this way, I wasn't worrying about picking up guns like I actually had to do in the first in the first round of the match. So that definitely helped me out a lot. But uh, moving on to my third perk, I'm, I think I'm just using Dexterity. Attachment-wise, I'm just using a Silencer and I think Quick, quick Mags because... Since I have scavenger, I'm not really too worried about ammo, and it's better to have that quick reload than to uh, run out of ammo <laughs> in the middle of a gunfight and then not be not being able to reload quick enough. That is like a much bigger problem. So I figured I'd just run quick mags, and it actually worked out really well in this match. Okay, so the map aftermath is actually I think one of the less common maps to get hundred plus gameplays on because it's pretty big and. Generally speaking, it's got all sorts of turns and places where you can get shot from, so at least I don't think I've seen too many. I might be completely wrong, and there might be so many gameplays on this map, but I don't think I've seen too many on here, at least not on the channels I watch. I might just be watching the wrong channels, but anyway, so I found a technique that works really, really well for Aftermath, and that's pretty much if the enemy team has the A flag, you want to stay around this diner right here the one that i'm the one right to my right or the one i just went in or the one i'm about to go in but this diner is really good because especially once you have your orbital v sat up like you can just kind of you can predict every move that your enemy is going to do you can you know you have so many little spots that you can kind of wait in the diner for them to come if you see them all spawn and coming into the diner where you can cut them off like i just cut that guy off so it's got tons of different routes where I can, you know, kind of kill them as they spawn and then just pop back out of the action and back in and out. And it's really easy. 
quick interruption here uh if you guys were listening to what i just said i pretty much laid myself up perfectly for a that's what she said joke so i'm just gonna say it to myself that's what she said you idiot but anyways it's really easy to navigate your way around this building and kill the enemy as they kind of continuously spawn there you still got a bunch of cover at all times so you're pretty much always going to be able to avoid getting flanked as long as you play carefully enough and pretty much what I do is I just kinda at this point I'm just doing laps around this building and picking people off wow and that was me dying 101 kill streak 15 seconds before the game was going to end fuck you dragon squirrel fuck your mother anyways I'm gonna give my uh, last words of this video to my dual commentating partner so go ahead man <laughs> oh, 19 to 13, all sniping. You guys gotta be somewhat proud of me. Come on. Okay, bro. I remember the first time I went positive. Positive. <laughs> Good job. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it a lot. Anyways, have a good night, and peace out, people.